Good morning, everyone. My name is Albert Reichert. I am one of OFDA's WASH technical advisors. OFDA is the emergency office of USAID, and as a humanitarian donor, we focus on the containment and control elements of cholera response rather than the elimination piece that's more appropriate to development actors. As OFDA's primary role is in disaster assistance, um, we normally only respond to cholera outbreaks that occur during an ongoing humanitarian response or complex emergency, uh, such as the recent responses in uh, the recent outbreaks in Mozambique and uh, Nigeria, or uh, recurring outbreaks in complex emergencies such as Yemen or uh, DR Congo. Um, OFDA, um, pardon me. Uh, OFDA occasionally responds to what we consider isolated outbreaks, um, which are those that occur outside of humanitarian context when certain conditions um, are present, such as uh, wide geographic spread of the outbreak, um, significant disruption to the healthcare system, uh, sustained elevated uh, mortality rate, and when national governments and traditional color response actors are unable to contain the outbreak. And usually we only respond to isolated outbreaks when they occur outside of cholera endemic zones. When OFDA does respond to cholera, we uh, do so through primarily through provision of technical advice, support to response coordination, funding for cholera uh, response commodities and core pipelines, direct funding to implementing partners uh, for key response activities, and uh, as well funding for operational research to develop the evidence base for cholera response activities. Uh, looking briefly at each of those avenues, OFDA prov provides technical input to the development of response strategies through our health and WASH technical advisors. Our advisors also provide guidelines on cholera response uh, or guidance on cholera response to our implementing partners. OFDA supports uh, response coordination through standby mechanisms um, for health and WASH cluster coordinators and information managers who can be rapidly deployed to support uh, color responses, as was the case in the recent uh, Mozambique outbreaks. Um, additionally, OFDA provides funding for color response commodities and core pipelines uh, through a number of mechanisms. OFDA maintains uh, regional warehouses around the globe uh, from which response commodities, primarily WASH and FIs, can be rapidly dispatched to disaster zones. In both the recent uh, Sofala and Cabo Delgado outbreaks in Mozambique, OFDA brought in several plane loads of WASH and FIs, including such things as emergency uh, water treatment systems, uh, jerry cans, water uh, transport and storage containers, uh, latrine squat plates, soaps, et cetera, which were deployed by or um, distributed through our implementing partners, <clears throat> excuse me. Additionally, in um, countries that are experiencing uh, complex emergencies where uh, cholera is endemic, OFDA through our partners uh, provides uh, prepositioning or funds prepositioning of response commodities in country in preparation for um, possible cholera outbreaks as is the case in Somalia. And finally, OFDA uh, funds large procurements of water treatment chemicals, uh, primarily HDH chlorine and um, aluminum sulfate, um, to support color responses either directly, um, as we did in Haiti, or uh, funding through our partners, um, as in Iraq and Mozambique. OFDA's most significant contribution to color response is through direct funding of our implementing partners for key evidence-based uh, color response activities. In terms of WASH, uh, we support particularly the provision of chlorinated water with a preference for centralized treatment and distribution, such as the restart and operation of municipal water supply systems, uh, the deployment of emergency water systems um, for population concentrations. Bucket chlorination, where populations are accessing few or centralized uh, water sources, and household water treatment distribution, where bucket and bulk chlorination are not feasible, as well as, of course, water trucking. 
OFDA requires that all water supply interventions in cholera response uh, settings are accompanied by comprehensive water quality and free residual chlorine monitoring in order to be able to assess the uh, effectiveness of the chlorination as well as to make adjustments as necessary. OFDA funds what we uh, consider high impact sanitation invention, interventions in cholera responses, including emergency sanitation and hand washing uh, for IDP concentrations, as well as uh, latrine rehabilitation and desludging at health facilities. Additionally, uh, OFDA funds such color response activities as the establishment and management or operation of uh, color treatment centers and ORPs, uh, training for health care workers and community health workers, uh, color prevention uh, and health seeking behavior change communication. We fund uh, targeted NFI. Uh, cholera kit distributions for cholera hotspots as well as high-risk populations. Um, rapid response teams, particularly where those include um, wash elements and have the capacity to initiate response activities. Um, and finally, operational support to OCV campaigns. Finally, o um, excuse me, OFDA provides funding for through our public health team uh, for operational research to increase the evidence base uh, for cholera response activities. And I'll close with a plug by noting that uh, our public health team has identified cholera response as a key area for operational research funding for FY 2020 and 2021, and we accept unsolicited proposals at any time. Thank you.